So, when you're pulling for this case or when you're setting up for every cranny, you need four things. You need this perforator, you'll need this red one, you'll need this blue one, and you need this black one. Okay? And so, the order of stuff is in the disposables, you'll need perforator, it comes in here. You'll need what they refer to as a C1, but it's this 1.1 router. So it's a thin one right there they can protect up with. It's got these rivets on the back of it. You'll need your matchstick. Comes in this one, also has the rivets in there. Looks like this. You see the rivets? Turn a little bit. And then you'll need this router. The router is used to connect the holes, take off the, the, um, the uh, bone flap. Mm -hmm. So, things to remember. These are, I know you're not going to see these packages probably, but when you have no, one... I'm, I'm, I'm the number person, so that's what I'm looking Okay, for. <laughs> all right. So, look at this. See these rivets right here? Uh -huh. Just an easy way to remember on the field. If you have these rivets or you see these lines, uh -huh. this can go into any attachment that has a black ring on it. Okay? Oh. If it doesn't have these rivets or it doesn't have these lines... Show them together. Okay. Then it won't go in. It won't go in. Here, all right. But these rivets also means that it won't go into anything else that doesn't have a black line on it. So it won't go in here. Okay. So the reason for the rivets is to unlock this. Take the unlock. Mm -hmm. Load this in here. Spin it. Pull them out a couple times. This can extend. That's what those rivets do. So they extend out like that. The lines. Yep. Shows you the setting. Got it. Yep. Lock it in there. Give it a tug. Good to go. Um, the locking mechanisms for this, mm -hmm. oh, it's always black dot, okay. black dot. So if the perforator, you're gonna start with the perforator to make the holes. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. uh, this will load in, you pull this down. See the pull mechanism? Mm -hmm. Pull that down, load that in. Once they're done making the perf holes, these tins off. This pulls straight off, it's just a straight pull. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is connect those burr holes. So this, no rivets. Doesn't go in anything else. So it just goes the black ones. Right. So this will load like this. And the reason this goes with this and this, remember it's the blue and the. Yep. I used to try to just load it in there first and then put it in. So yeah, you could do that. I think this way is easier. Okay. So you can preload it in there if you want. It's also means it won't fall out sometimes. But so now this little snaps in. It's black dot to black dot. Now you could you could also do it this the way you were talking about and have it preloaded like this. I don't really recommend that because sometimes they'll get up and they'll fall straight out like that and you get another router. Um, but you can also load it in here like that. Still go black dot to black dot and it'll still come in. But when you want to take it off, that little lock mechanism right there and you see a little traffic sign up to the right. So just pull, twist to the right, comes right off. Good? Yep. Then this can be preloaded with your matchstick. It's got the rivets on there. So you can load all of them like that, put the, the uh, baits in there first, the, the, um, the bits in there first before you put these on, the headpiece? Yeah, so the, you the can preload this. this. This can stay loaded like this. No, I'm talking about, you know how you just did this one? Yep. Can you do that with all of those or just that? Put this uh, in there first? Can you put all of these in there first? No, this doesn't lock like that. On. You can't put, this won't go like that. Okay, that's Remember, what I was saying. These rivets go with this one. They, they lock in a different a different way. So the only one you can do like I just did is the, is the blue and the red one. All right. So lock in like this. Some things to watch out for. So I think we're having problems with them taking this and trying to put in here, which won't work, or trying to put over in here. So this blue one, you should not need this blue one unless you're cutting metal. This only holds the metal metal cutting disc that we have. So with that, like don't if you this just don't even worry about this unless they call for metal cutting. So just remember rivets, black blue. attachment, blue and red, blue and red, and perforator. And you should be good to go. Oh, so this one go on both of these? Yep, so that's why it's blue and red. So this one, put it right here. That's yeah, the, the, the doctor the mentors the only one this one. Yeah. Can do that. And this pulls out. So you did it with that too. This is the same burger. Right. Yeah, so this one th this one loads this way. That's the only one that loads this way. The blue and the red. The blue and the red. Yep. Just remember this back end has no rivets on it. It's fat. It goes right in here like that. Good? Okay. So what this one at? One of them we didn't do. With. No, that's that's this one. Rivets. Right here. And then rivets right here. 
Well, that's so, what I was told. We didn't do this. Yeah, but it's oh, the same thing. So, okay. so rivets goes in the black. Okay. Good? Right. Got it. So it's color coded. Okay. And this is what they use for the little tack ups, the little tack up holes. Okay. Never knew that. That's a good thing to remember. The rivets? No. I can remember these. Colors. What are you okay. calling the tack up things? The a TF needle? Where they're. Yeah. Yep. Dur the Duro? Yep. When they're tacking the yep. Duro? Okay. So, any questions? No. Good stuff.